What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Noisy Boy here and I'm back with some more Dark Souls Remastered. Now I'm at the Chamber of Princess but in the last episode we gathered the uh, Lord Vessel and placed it. Um, but in this particular episode guys, um, one thing I actually forgot to do was after we killed Lortric in uh, invading his world and revenging our Firekeeper for Lortric killing her, you actually get uh, the Ring of... Uh, favor and protection and you also get his armor set so once you've actually completed his quest line from the bonfire you come down to here and you actually get his full set just here this camera is all in funny angles man so this is here the pretty much the embraced armor of favor which is pretty much his full set looks pretty cool to tell you the truth but you know since I'm a sorcerer I probably won't even need it pretty good little set. Um, another thing too is that um, we're going to be going down to New Londo Ruins. We won't be facing the boss but one thing we actually did was upgrading our Gargoyle Spear. Now I'll, in the last episode I said I wanted to get it to plus 15 which I was actually wrong. I was supposed to get it to plus 10 then go to the Anor Londo uh, Blacksmith, the Giant, and go to Lightning Halberg. So Again, in the, the last, um, just before this, I made a Lightning Gargoyle Halberg plus 5, which is its max. Now, I need to explain something a little bit. Um, I went, I've went. i already been down to New Londo Ruins, and I actually cleared it, did all that kind of crap, but I actually forgot, oh, I didn't forget, the, uh, the recording got corrupted, so I was forced to, to delete it. So I've actually gone down there and done a whole, got everything I needed down there, everything I wanted, and I had to delete it so what I'm going to do today is just do a quick run through it again just to show you guys where everything is um, but like I said before I just wanted to explain where I was in the, lo in the last corrupted data I was only level 61 after I finished Yolanda I went up one level and put one into attunement so it's now 17 so I did that there and I also brought I'll mention it later on too I also use the souls to buy the lingering dragon crest ring as well, and yes, there's an and. I brought some more of um. I brought the rest of Logan's uh. All of his all of his spells. Just so you guys know, and I'm pretty sure in the last episode I. Well, in the corrupted date, I think I showed you guys a farming spot. Can't quite remember, but if I didn't. Just let me know in the comment section below. I also upgraded my boulder shield, which is plus 10 now. Now the reason why I'm using the boulder shield over my crest shield is for one specific reason, which is a stability on the right hand column underneath, uh, just above required parameters. There's stability, which is 7. Now my crest shield at max is only 66. Now you can take this boulder shield to plus 15 if you want to, but 70 is plenty, and it has 100% physical defense, um, which in the gates 100% of a physical attacking. So, we'll head on down to New Londo Ruins, and I'll meet you guys there in two ticks. Alright guys, here we are once again. That's New Londo Ruins in the background. Remember to equip uh, Transit Curse, I've got five. Uh, you will, if you've been following this walkthrough, you should have two to start with. And I'll just show you where to get some more and all that kind of stuff. So I've also equipped um, ten Homing Soul Mass, a Great Soul Arrow, and two Soul Spears, just for later on. Because there are a few enemies in here that once you take them out, they don't respawn. So I'll show you where they are. They're not too hard, especially if you've got Soul Spear. Um, for rings, I've got... The uh, Bellowing Dragon Crest Wing, which increases our damage from sorceries, and the Havel's Ring just for a bit of speed. Or quick rolling. So let's go into this place. I know this place can be a bit of a pain in the butt for a lot of people, and it was for me too. Um, it can get hard, it really can. Just because of uh, the ghosts and all that shit that's around here, so let's pop a Transit Curse. Now what you want to do is head on down here, as you can see. We've got some ghosts. But they're pretty easy to take out for us. Especially with our Gargoyle Halberg. Another thing I wanted to mention too was at this time you should have 
um, if you've upgraded you would have run out of chunks, um, Titanite Knight chunks, so you should only have a Lightning Gargoyles Halberd plus 3, because that's what I had before I came down here, so what you want to do is run down to here, and there's actually a jar here that you can actually break open and get two more transit curses, so you should have three, hopefully, and you want to head on up these stairs as well. Now we're going to come up to a bit of an ambush, but if we can uh, be a bit lucky, we might just be all right. Take that guy out, and we'll take this guy out up here too. Really pain in the butt, that guy, especially that guy. Oh fuck, my camera angles, man, it's crazy times. Oh, this is that ambush I was telling you about. Oh, you might die here, you might die here. Oh shit. Run away. If you can lure them down here, that's actually a good spot to try and line them up and get them down there. That's what I was trying to do, but I kept locking onto the characters. The bad guys. I think that was it. I don't think we can push this just yet because you have to actually um, unlock that from a different side, so that's just a shortcut if you die to the boss. So I'm going to come down here. Come down this way real quick. Now there should be an item just here. And there should be a ghost just in this wall. So be careful for that. Oh shit, why am I not? Ugh. Bastard guy. So pick up that item. Come back around this way. I'm going to go through it. Not fairly quick, just um, quick enough so you guys won't get too confused. With the Lightning Halberg, we should be pretty safe. Switch over to that one. Take this guy out. Pretty simple shit. Remember to watch your back. And pick up this item just there. I can't remember what these items are, guys, so just pick them up as you go. And now this should be a fog wall just here. You can go through it. And there is going to be a shortcut we're going to unlock right here. If you kick this ladder down, there will be a shortcut that I'll show you if we die. I'll show you where to get it, uh, how to um, get to it, I should say. If you have a look there, there's that bridge where we got ambushed. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy way around. You want to run across here to this. Pick up this item on there, and there should actually be a few ghosts around here. They're lurking somewhere. So I want to head on back down here and sprint across here. Just because it's a little bit of a trap. Hopefully these guys will show themselves. Maybe not. Not today. Oh well. I'm going to head on down here and now a few ghosts should be popping up around here too, so you want to watch out for that. This one right there. Two. And three. There should be another two around here. Oh shit, get out. Run, run away. Okay, just have to be, be in mind that there is actually two more behind us. Well, there was two more behind us. Coming and going, man. And this spot can get a bit tight as well, so be careful. Um, we want to take... Oh, fuck. Oh, that guy there. Take that, bastard. Got some more transit curses, which is always good. Take him out. Now there should be... Like, two more. Oh shit, my transit Chris has run out. Try and line them both up just like that. That's why the shield is so good. 
because it tends to take them out really quickly. Oh, we got ourselves a jagged blade. I remember there being more than that in there, so let's quickly head on up this ladder real quick. Watch out because you're probably going to get attacked. Which is pretty dog, because how are you supposed to defend yourself when you're up on a ladder? Now you want to go to this guy here, exhaust his dialogue. Come on, follow me, I dare you to. You want to exhaust this guy's dialogue, and once you have... Um, you can actually buy something from him. Which is a pretty good little stuff, so you want to actually... If, you, if you've been cursed, you can actually get it broken from this guy. So if you go to purchase, you can get some transit curses if you need it. But you can also buy a, uh, a spell from him. Um, I'll just quickly show where it is. You can actually buy Resist Curse, which is a pretty good spell. Sorcery of the Red Hooded Rem Remedicans. Inward Guardian of the Sealed New Londo. Sacrifice humanity to undo curse. Abhorrent curses eat away at the core of one's existences. And cleansing oneself of curse is no easy task indeed. So now poison, toxin, and curse is no drama, drama for us guys. So that's always a good thing to have. Because once you get cursed, man, it is... Man, it is bad. Especially if you die. Oh, go on to piece of this. So does his friend. Not today, son. Always good to stay mobile, of course. Alright, now we want to head on back here. Run down to the side. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Head on down here. There should be an item just there. Oh, fuck, what the hell's that? Pick up that item and roll down. See if this mate follows me. And he does. Thank you for coming. And I think that is it for this part. Now, next thing we want to do is actually head down. Now, we will head out that door in a sec, but first we'll just head down this way. Just follow this path, it's quite easy. It is pretty intimidating to start with, but if you just follow this path, there should be a... Oh! Watch out for that guy, obviously. Now this should be a, um... A curse bite ring, so that, um, you know, helps you against curses as well. So, as you can see, we're getting some stuff here. There's only a, a couple of items that I wanted to pick up in this area, only because they're pretty good for the rest of the playthrough. And you want to head on out this way next. Head on down here, and there should be an item just on there that you want to pick up as well. If you can see just down there, that fog, that's the boss fog door. We're not going to fight the boss in this episode, but just so you guys know. Pick up the item, I think that's the soul item on there. Head this way, go up these stairs as well. And there should be right down the end here. I think this one on the end, by memory, is a humanity. So you want to pick that one up too. Come back down to this way. I know I'm going through pretty quick, guys, but I've already done it, so I don't want to linger here too much. Roll down here. Head down to this side as well. There should be a ring of sacrifice here, I think. Pick that up, and then roll down into this window here. And we're pretty much back at the start. This is where we came from. This is, where we've, this is the ladder area just in there. So we're looking pretty good and we've pretty much cleared all the ghosts out as well. So we are looking in very good nick. Right, let's head back down here again. Come out over here and you guys can probably recognise where we are now. Head on through here. And we're going to go head down to the second part of New Londo. So we're going to, that's uh, progression, but we're going to head on up here first. You want to head down this corridor. Now there is no enemies up here guys, so don't get too worried. And you want to head on over here and pick up a composite bow on here, which is actually pretty good if you upgrade it to an enchanted bow, enchanted com composite bow, it's actually quite strong, does a decent amount of enchanted damage, so 
good for mages if you're looking for a decent enough um, bow to do some damage. Next up you want to open this door and press this um, which will open that door just there and drain the water out of New Londo so we can actually head down to the lower parts of New Londo. So once you've done that there should be a cutscene and when the cutscene is done head on back out pull as a lever and we're going to go back downstairs. Now this next part downstairs can be a massive pain in the ass. Um, we're going to be using some pretty heavy shit now. And um, what I do suggest doing too is because we are casters, I suggest putting on uh, the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. Like I said at the beginning of the video that we were short, I think it was two Titanite chunks and our and your lightning gargoyles however should only be plus three. So the reason why I'm putting this on is because the enemies we we are going to about we're going to face now drop chunks. And it's a pretty good spot to farm Titanite chunks if you need some. So we'll put that on and try and get as much as we can. Alright. We're going to move on up and try and draw this guy out and take him out pretty easily. Now as you can see that is actually Valley of the Drakes from the other side. As you can see there are bodies everywhere. Alright next up you want to head on up these steps. I think I did miss a couple of items coming through here, so I might as well go pick them up while I'm here. Um, those um, Dark Wraith Knights, they are very, very tough guys, so be very careful when you're fighting them. And boom, tight night chunks guys, and pick up a soul item here, I think it was. Uh, yeah, next up I think we get into a bit of a fight up here too. Oh, there should be a few of them up here. Damn, we're using up our items, that's for sure. I probably shouldn't be popping this so early. I'm pretty sure there's two more of these guys kicking around. I thought there was one more. Maybe not. Tomorrow. What you want to do there is actually humanity just here is also well, pick that one on up too and we'll head on down here next head on up to the top head on down this way too guys there should be like a item on the ledge there I'm pretty sure and actually actually we'll just come back here for a quick second guys sorry I actually forgot there was actually a blob enemy I'm not sure what they're called but they're just one big blob enemy. They take about probably three or four hits to kill them with um, Soul Spear, I'm pretty sure. So just be aware of that guys, if you try to combine combine homing soul, homing soul Mass with some um, Soul Spear, you should be able to take them out pretty good. Um, but be aware that they're just big slow. They, are, they do have a lot of HP, so be careful of them. They're not that bad. They release those little um, floating skulls that explode when you're in the vicinity so be careful of that. Uh, so that's where we were before, pick up that item, come this way as well. Come to the side, watch out for the drop you don't want to drop off. Pretty sure there was an item just around this side I think. I think it was at the end. I think it was right here. And if you come on up these steps as well and this is pretty much the other item which is probably one of the only reasons why I came here as well if you open up this box here there is actually a uh, I think it's the very large ember or something like that 
Um, so now you can actually increase weapon um, to plus, increase your weapon, sorry, to plus 15. So that was one of the main reasons why I came down here so early. So pick that one up, and now you guys can have plus 15 weapons. You're welcome. Alright, let's head on back to where we were, which was downstairs. You can just roll off the edge if you're confident, um, but I just wanted to show you the path back just in case you guys get lost. Here's those spiral steps where we came from. And Bob's your uncle. Alright, now we've pretty much cleared this area, got the item that was up the top. Now from here you want to go down to this door. Now I think this one is a fog door too to start with, so be aware of that. We'll try and take out these next few guys actually with Soul Spear. Now there is actually a shortcut to it, which is just up there. Um, if you want me to elaborate on that more, just let me know. As you can see, we take these guys out in one shot. We need to go up there. Uh, we'll hit this up too. This is an illusionary wall. Take old mate out. Go through there. It is actually, if you go through there, there's a, uh, a chest with tight my chunk in it. So pick that one up too. Uh, that was. I know there was an item here. A couple of items actually. I missed. I know there was this one. And there was actually one. I know that there's actually a ghost around here somewhere, so I'll get ready for him. Now, what you want to do is just come up to here and try and draw some of these guys out. Oh, fuck, there he is. Boom, sucker. Well, there should be another one. And there should be a ghost. Don't know where the ghost has gone. And there's a chest in the corner just there. Pick that one up. I think there's got another Tide Knight chunk in it too. Next thing you want to do is head on around to this party because this is the last Skull Knight. Or well, Dark Wraith, I should say. Take him out pretty easily. And that is the boss fog door from which we stood all the way up the top there. And looked down on earlier on in the video. But like I said before, we're not going to go face him. Now I know there is one more item I missed. I got a checklist that I did with a dummy player, a dummy made up player, and I actually forgot two items. And the second one was just here. So, boom. Just a soul item. And that's pretty much it, guys, for this episode. Um, that we've got everything we needed, especially those two main items. I'd have gone through probably a lot quicker than you guys have realised. I didn't take this long last time. I think we're at about 24 minutes. Um, I think I did it in about 28, just because I had to go and pick up the items physically and all that kind of stuff. Now... There is actually a shortcut just up there. When you first come down here, um, there's those two ghosts we fought right at the beginning of the episode. And where we got that big jar that got, had the two transit curses in it. If you don't remember, go back to the beginning of the episode, i actually show where it is. If you go straight past that jar, you can actually roll off the edge down to here, straight to the boss fight. So, hopefully that did help. Now, how much have we got? 19,000 souls, so we'll... um. We shall quickly head on back to the bonfire, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, here we are back at Filing Shrine. Now, before I head out, remember to go to the blacksmith in Orlando, upgrade your lightning gargoyle with Halberg to plus 5 like I have now. You can put one level into a tournament if you want to, you don't have to. I'm actually going to try and go to 19 and max it out so we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the playthrough. Also, I do suggest going over and... Well, you don't have to do it right now, but I just... I did it now just because I had the souls. 
um, buying Craig's uh, Lingering Dragon Crest ring just to get it out of the way. I also suggest oh, As if you really want to, like you don't have to, but if you buy all of his um, magic spells, like the ones you don't have, like if you have a look in the right hand column, it's got held souls or card, all that kind of shit, just make sure you've got one, at least one of everything. Um, Goodbye then. Deuce. Apart from that, since Logan has disappeared, um, he's actually gone now, he's actually learnt um, some of Logan's abilities, so he actually has a soul spear which I brought off him too. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. Now I'm probably going to be a, a level higher than I was probably expected to be, but oh well, shit happens, right? So we've got 22,000 souls. I might be able to live like once, and no, I won't. <laughs> I might just go find a place to kill somebody and level up then. Also, what I'll probably do is put it into a tomb and again to put it up to 18. Well, anyway, guys, I might just leave it there. So please, I know it was a quick run through. I'm sorry that my um my video got corrupted and I had to delete it. It was a really quick run through. I went really through it really quickly, um, but at the same time, the sorcerers are OP so we didn't have to worry too much along the way. I still went through all the fights that I had to do in the last one apart from two blobs which they were pretty easy as well so hopefully you guys have as much luck as I did going through New Londo. Anyway guys I will just leave it there so please if this did help remember to smash that like button to support my channel if you're new feel free to subscribe because I love to your feedback and your comments in the comment section below. I am your host Noisy Boy. thanks for coming on by and as always guys Stay noisy.